Hello everyone, this is Satya. I'm going to start a new series for class 8 Max Olympiad exam preparation. So we'll be discussing questions and answers for all the topics that are covered in the Olympiad exam. So let us get into the video now. Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see class 8 chapter 1 ration numbers. So take a note and pen. So for each question I have set 10 seconds. So with that 10 seconds if you can write the answer well and good. If not you can just pause the video and write down the answer. Say for example 1 and write the number and option. So if you cannot uh, write the uh, answer for the question then you can pass the video. So at the end we will see how much you are getting. You can write down your marks in the comments. So we will discuss the answers whenever with steps or just the answer alone. So let us get into the first question. Which of the following number is the Additive inverse of 5 by 27. Your time starts now. Here the answer is minus 5 by 27. So this is the answer for the first question. We will move on to second question. Between two given rational numbers, we can find four options are given. Your time starts now. Here the answer is indefinitely many rational numbers we can find between two rational numbers. Next third question. Which of the following is true? Four options are given. Your time starts now. Here the answer is minus of minus 7 by 8 that is equal to 7 by 8. First option is wrong. Second option is true. And subtraction is commutative. This is wrong. 1 divided by 0 equal to 0. That is also wrong. So we will move on to next question now. The racial number which lies between 1 by 2 and 1 by 4 is. Your time starts now. We will see the formula for this. If A and B are two racial numbers a plus b divided by 2 is the racial number that lies between a and b. So for the given 1 by 2 and 1 by 4, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 divided by 2. So that is equal to 3 by 4 divided by 2 that is equal to 3 by 8 is the answer. So here the answer is option A. We will move on to the next question. Is 2 by 5 plus 6 by 7 plus 1 by 4 equal to the bracket is interchanged here. True by which property? The time starts now. Here the answer is commutative because a plus b plus c equal to a plus b plus c. Next question. The reciprocal of minus 4 by 9 into minus 5 by 17 is your time starts now. Answer here is we will see before uh, the steps here 20 divided by 153 you will be getting when you simplify 
the reciprocal meaning is the numerator should uh, come for denominator and you have to uh, reverse that is the reciprocal so here option a is the answer next seventh question if x equal to minus 3 by 5 divided by 12 by 35 then modulus of x equal to your time starts now x equal to minus 3 by 5 into 35 divided by 12 so when when division is there you have to uh, write the reciprocal so 1 times here 7 times here 4 times here 1 time so you will be getting minus 7 by 4 so whenever you come across modulus you have to write without plus or minus so here the option is 7 by 4 even if you get minus you have to write without plus or minus next we'll see eighth question find 3 by 7 plus minus 6 by 11 plus minus 8 by 21 plus 5 by 22 your time starts now So here first we have to find the LCM for all the denominators. So here LCM is 462. So when you keep 462 in the denominator after calculating you will be getting 66 of 3 plus minus 6 of 42 plus minus 8 of 22 plus 5 of 21 so when you do simplify this you will be getting 198 minus 252 minus 176 plus 105 so divided by 462 so when you simplify this you will be getting minus 125 divided by 462. A number which can be written in the form of p by q where p and q are dash and q not equal to 0 is called a rational number. Your time starts now. Here the answer is integers. Next we'll move on to the twelfth question. The product of two numbers is minus twenty divided by nine. If one of the numbers is four, find the other. Your time starts now. Here four into. Let us say the other number as a or x equal to minus 20 by 9 so a equal to minus 20 by 9 into 1 by 4 so when you cancel it you will be getting minus 5 by 9 so the answer is minus 5 by 9 next we'll see 11th question a basket contains three types of vegetables weighing 14 1 by 4 kg in all. Out of this, 4.5 kg carrot, 6 5 by 8 kg is cauliflower and the rest is cabbage. What is the weight of the cabbage? Your time starts now. Is up we'll see the answer now 14 1 by 4 is the total so 4 and a half plus 5 6 5 by 8 plus weight of cabbage so we have to find the weight of cabbage so weight of cabbage equal to so you have to add this and subtract with the total 
So total here is 57 divided by 4 minus 53 divided by 8 minus 9 by 2. So when you take LCM you will be getting 8 114 minus 53 minus 36. So that is equal to 25 by 8. It is equal to 3 1 by 8. So here the answer is B. We will move on to next question. Which of the following sets of rational numbers is arranged in descending order? Your time starts now. So for these type of questions you have to find the LCM. So when you find the LCM you will get the denominator as common denominator and then from the numerator you can find which is the uh, smallest and which is the highest. From that you can find whether the given numbers are in ascending order or descending order. So slowly you can do that by passing this video. For this the answer is option D here. We will move on to the next question now. What is the simplified form of the given equation? Your time stops now. So first we will simplify whatever is given in the bracket. So here if you cross you will be getting 2 here. So here if you cross you will be getting 2 here and 1 here. So here if you cross you will be getting 7 here 3. So with this minus 26 minus of minus 1 by 6 plus minus 7 by 3. So when you take LCM you will be getting 6. So, so minus 156 plus 1 minus 14. So that is equal to minus 169 divided by 6. The answer here is C. Next we will move on to the next question. Which of the following are the rational numbers? Your time starts now. Here the answer is D here. So you can write down in comments why this is said to be a rational numbers. Next, 15 question the rational number 0 by minus 15. Here the answer is has neither a positive numerator or a negative numerator so here because it is 0 only so whether it is minus 15 in the given given in the denominator so it is said to be 0 so has neither a positive numerator nor a negative numerator next 16th question if x equal to y equal to z equal to values are given find the values of x into y into z your time starts now Here we have to find x into y into z. So that is equal to 2 by 7 into minus 5 by 6 into 1 by 4. So here this bracket is common for y and z. Minus 5 by 24. 
so when you do this you will you can cancel here one times here 12 times so here it is minus 5 by 84 is the answer so option a is the answer for this question next we'll move on to the next question given rational numbers lie between which of the following pairs of numbers your time starts now So here first you have to find the simplification of the given numbers. So here it will be approximately minus 2.5. Here also it will be minus 2 point. Here also it will be minus 2 point. So this lies between minus 3 and minus 2. So we will move on to the next question now. 18th question. Cost of 1 liter crude oil is rupees 12 3 by 5 what is the cost of 25 letters of crude oil your time starts now so we'll see x equal to 12 3 by 5 into 25 so mixed fractions you have to make it as improper fraction so you'll be getting six, 63 divided by 5 into 25 so when you do this you will be getting rupees 315 so here the answer is d we'll move on to the next question 19th question which of this following statement is false here is C so this is true so this is also true so this is false here and this is also also true so the answer is option C next we'll move on to the last question 28th question identify the incorrect statement from the following options your time starts now So here, so here both the sides are equal, so this is correct. So here, so this is 0, this is equal to 0, so this is correct. 0 0.3 is multiplicative inverse of 3, 1 by 3. So here this is 3 by 10. So yes, it is 10 by 3. So multiplicative inverse is correct here. But here, this is not equal to this so this is the incorrect statement so the answer here is b option so write down your marks in the comment section so i can also see your marks so we'll see in the next chapter thank you